Human civilization runs on fuel. Fuel in the form of petrol, diesel, kerosene or furnace oil is transported and dispensed through volumetric measurement. As of today, there are depots and stations from where it is collected by the consumers, be it individuals or the industry. To eliminate the unnecessary hassle of detouring of vehicles to fuel pumps and stations, Niyogi Technologies and Research Private Limited has innovated the flow meter installed mobile tankers which can deliver fuel at doorsteps. Fuel can now be delivered at bus depots, garages, road construction sites, remote areas, riverside facilities, mines, various big or small industries, farms where machines and motors are used and the like. Niyogi Technologies and Research Private Limited has introduced flow meter mounted mobile tankers which run using either PTO or battery operated pumps certified by the Department of Legal Metrology of Government of India. The vehicle installation has four major components. The tanker in which the liquid is stored and transported. The tanker needs to be thoroughly cleaned before filling to prevent any kind of slurry deposition. The bucket filter. It filters the liquid and enhances the life of the pump. The pump. This pump can be power takeoff or PTO operated or battery operated. In this case, we are using a PTO operated pump which derives its power from the shaft of the vehicle coming out of the PTO unit of the gearbox. The product boasts of an admirable plus or minus 0.1% accuracy with a flow rate of 75 to 90 litres per minute and suction pressure of 28 pounds with an inlet of 1.5 inches and an outlet of 1 inch. Weighing around 19 kilos, the pump works efficiently within a temperature range of 5 degrees centigrade to 120 degrees centigrade. The mechanical flow meter that counts the exact volume of liquid passing through the nozzle has a non-reversible totalizer which adds up to 99 lakhs 99,000 999.9 litres and a resettable registered digit indicator with the capacity to measure 999.9 litres. The total setup of the flow meter using a PTO operated pump is installed between the tanker and the passenger cabin. The base plate is first installed in the frame structure and holes for bolts are created as per the base design to place the flow meter. The blue base cover is removed and the holes at four corners are matched with the holes of the base plate of the frame. The flow meter is fixed with nuts and bolts and the cover is reinstalled. A special frame is to be installed below the chassis to install the pump in such a way as it can derive the power from the gearbox directly. Once the pump is fixed in the frame structure, the shafts are connected using the corresponding couplings which are then bolted together. At this stage, it is to be checked whether the vehicle's power transmission shaft from the gearbox is left-hand or right-hand oriented. The pump is generally set for left-hand orientation. In case the vehicle is designed for the opposite orientation, then open the side cover of the pump, rotate the plate to match the arrow marked RH and install the side cover. The filter is installed such that the pipe from the stop valve of the tanker is connected to the input of the filter. The output of the filter is connected to the input of the pump. The output of the pump is connected to the input of the flow meter. The output of the flow meter is connected to the nozzle via hose pipes. 
It is good to make a covered box to fit in all these equipments to prevent it from rain or any other physical damage. Ensure that this box is easily accessible from all directions for proper maintenance of the device. This unique innovation from Neogi Technologies and Research Private Limited has eliminated great rigidity in liquid transportation and has provided the industry with great boost by saving time, labor resources and money.